Electromagnetic radiation interacts with atoms and molecules in different ways. From the high energy X-rays on the left of this animation to the low energy radio waves on the right. So let's see what each part of the spectrum does. Starting with X-rays, well they have so much energy they can excite the inner electrons of an atom to a higher energy level. And from there, the electrons will jump back down again and release those X-rays, giving information about those inner electron energy levels. UV visible, well, that excites the valence electrons to higher energy levels. And when they drop back down again, they release a photon, giving information about the valence energy levels. Infrared radiation will cause some molecules' bonds to vibrate. If you sweep the molecule with different frequencies of infrared, find out which are absorbed, then you'll get a spectrum like this. And the troughs in the spectrum can be correlated with the data booklet to identify the bonds in the molecule. Microwaves cause gaseous molecules to rotate. And from this, you can get information about molecular geometry. And finally, in H1 NMR, the interaction of radio waves and a magnetic field will flip the proton in the hydrogen nucleus. Information gained from this will tell you about hydrogens in molecules. And again, look up the spectra in the data booklet uh, to find out where the hydrogens are. And just to complete the set, we have mass spectroscopy, which doesn't use electromagnetic radiation in the traditional sense. Molecules are ionized and flung through a bent tube. Different masses and charges on the fragments produce a spectrum such as this. And using simple maths, you can work out what the fragments are and identify the molecule.